Hello everyone, this is Jason Gardner and welcome to my channel. This video is very different from any of my other videos. It's something I've been really wanting to post for a long time and I finally got around to digitizing the cassette recording of my conversation with Krista McAuliffe in 1986 or late 85. She was not chosen yet to be on the Space Shuttle Challenger. She was one of the finalists and she was on a talk show called Edge of Reality by Lee Spiegel. And if he's out there, if anyone's out there and want to get in touch with me, um, I looked for the recording and I couldn't find it anywhere else. So I have the clip of me um, on the radio show. I was either 15 or 16 years old and I'm asking her a couple of questions and getting some fantastic answers. Of course, when the tragedy happened, I was completely crushed and taken aback and kind of surreally blown away because I had actually spoken to this woman. So that was very interesting for me at 16 years old. With that said, this is my gift to the community. This is my gift to the family. This is a few more words of Krista McAuliffe's. Let me please play the recording for you. Please feel free to leave a comment and send some love because that would be just wonderful for the family and for anyone that knew her and was in her life or was affected by her incredible humanity. What's your name? Hi, my name is Jason. Where are you calling from, Jason? Uh, Jason, New York. All right, what can we do for you? Okay, um, Krista, what is your actual job on the space shuttle? Well, probably my actual job is going to be to keep out of the way as much as possible because they're going to be launching some satellites from that mission. Mm -hmm. But I also am going to be doing a project on board the shuttle. And I teach, what? Well, I teach a course called The American Woman, which is a social history that tries to focus in on ordinary people and what people have done other than military, political, and economic history. So in tying that with my course, I felt that I would keep a journal now, on the flight, and then afterwards, so that I could share an ordinary person's perspective. I felt that that was unobtrusive. I'd be out of the way. I wouldn't need a lot of extra equipment, and it would be something that certainly would document the space shuttle flight for me, so I could really share it when I got back. Yeah, um, and also, are you planning to write a book after you, after you finish your commitment? I think that would be a real exciting possibility. Oh, yeah, and I think, I think with lots of color pictures, too. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. All right, Jason, thanks for calling us. Bye, that one. Good luck. All right. Thank you. Okay, bye. Take it easy. I almost said thank you. I'm like, look at me. I'm on the ground. <laughs> um, yeah, what was I going to ask you? Oh, yeah.